Hi everyone, Annette from Aussie Reborn Supplies here. Today I'm just doing a video on request of one of my customers of how to make a regular baby dummy into a magnetic dummy that we can put on our reborn babies. So this is so everyone who has their own reborn baby can make their own magnetic dummies at home. So what we do need is um, all what you see here. We've got a hot glue gun, some scissors, the magnet, some E6000 glue or something similar. It can just be some clear kind of glue. That's just a very strong glue that I like to use personally. A bit of felt, your baby dummy, scalpel or scissors, and of course your reborn baby. So with the dummy, we want to um, cut off the, the teat and we want to get it as close in there as possible. So yeah, I just use a scalpel. Um, you got to be very careful. They're so sharp. So what I do is I'm trying to pull the dummy as I'm going. So I bend it, which pulls it tight. Just put your scalpel in. It'll cut very easily. But of course, watch what you're doing because it'll cut you too. Just keep pulling the teeth. It just sort of comes away. That's why I like to use a scalpel. You know it's going to be really sharp. It's all going to be quick. You just got to watch yourself. Sorry. And that last bit. So there you can see the teat is now completely cut off. And we do not have, well, we have a little bit here which can be cut, can be trimmed, but it's not that important. I probably won't worry about it in this video. Even though I'm still going. Okay, there I got it there. So you can see from the look there, if we focus in, there's no actual residue here. So now what I want to do, sorry if this falls a bit, I'm just trying to hold my camera up around my neck. <laughs> okay, so now what we want to do is get the E6000 glue. Uh, I just use this because it's very strong, but be, be careful, you should actually be wearing gloves, but I'll be careful to wash my hands thoroughly afterwards, but it's nearly dried inside. So I just get my, um, I've got a little skewer here, which will just clean the inside of that out because it's all a bit dry in the top there. Squeeze it. First part I might just wipe off. It'll get some of the extra dry off. So what we need to do is get our magnet and we need to put it on the baby. That will determine which way the magnet needs to be put onto the dummy. So just squeeze it out. Squeeze it onto the, the dummy itself. Just like that. I'll put that lid on before it dries out. So then what we do is we just get the magnet off the baby and remember that side, the one touching the lips, has to be the side facing outwards on this. So basically we just want to put it straight over, just like that. Now normally you would let the E6000 maybe dry for a few hours. Um, before you're going to use it. But in this instance, I'll just leave it sit there for a minute and cut out the little bit of felt and we'll glue it straight on so you can see what to do. So the felt will obviously just be in a circle. Small enough that it's not gonna um, show on the outer edge of the dummy, just nice and petite. Probably a little bit big still. Trim it down a little bit more. Now I use the felt or another material because if you don't, the dummy will rub against the baby's lips and um, can take paint away, which you don't want to do if you've paid so much for these babies. So I suggest something that's going to be more hard wearing. It, it'll just sort of polish it almost. Okay, so as you can see the E6000 glue there, but what I'm now going to do is with my hot glue gun, 
I'm just going to go around the outside of the magnet. I personally just do this bit more reinforcement. Plus the E6000 is expensive. <laughs> so just put your piece of material over where you've just put that glue and press it into place. Obviously with hot glue it's going to be drying quicker than the E6000. So you can see that, hopefully it's focusing in a bit. And then I'll just do this for the normal, normally you would leave that sit there for a while but as we can see it goes directly on the baby. There's baby Riley with his new dummy. So yeah, just leaving that alone to sit. Now I can, the E6000 will have time to dry. And that's exactly how you make a magnetic dummy. Uh, like I said, um, you don't have to use E6000. You couldn't just use hot glue if you want. I just find the hot glue um, over maybe a couple of years time, or a year or a year or two, um, it just gets weak and the, the magnet falls off anyway. But that's not a big deal if you are making it yourself because you can just remake it. So I hope that was helpful. Um, Stacy. I hope you liked the video and it helped you. And thanks everyone for watching. Any, if anyone needs anything, um, how-to videos done, just ask me and I will see what I can do about getting them to you. So thanks for watching guys. Bye.